When I tap you on the shoulder, please state your name and what you do for a living. Josh Paco Beyonce. <laughs> oh, I fold jeans. Oh, right. <laughs> Richard. Richard. I work for a school district. <laughs> Which school district, Richard? Up in Seattle. Seattle? Yeah. Oh, so uh, you guys are from Seattle then? That's yes. why we're wearing flip-flops. Oh, I see. You're wearing flip-flops. Good rain shoes. Yeah, yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> uh, on your way down, did you drive down from Seattle? No, we flew. Oh, flew. I see. <laughs> that, uh, that ruins the logic of what I was thinking. I thought perhaps you had driven down from Seattle and stopped in San Francisco for the year. <laughs> Would have been a good, yeah. <laughs> but of course, I'm a man that deals in stereotypes. It's what I do. I, <laughs> I work in late night television where everything has to be a little bit simpler, if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> I'm guessing it's not that simple with you two, is it? <laughs> you a couple? Yes. <laughs> To me. Yeah, is. This is interesting to me because if you were a heterosexual couple, then the audience probably wouldn't have cheered. <laughs> My guess is that the audience would have gone, so what? <laughs> anyway, good for you, I say. Thanks. And the only thing I, I noticed that when heterosexual couples wear the same colour, everyone thinks it's a little sad. <laughs> When gay couples wear the same color, everyone goes, that's adorable! Yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Which I think is weird. It's just a double standard, I guess. I suppose you run into it. <laughs> Are you nervous, Richard? Very. <laughs> Do I make you nervous? Very. Yes. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> That makes me happy. <laughs> Great. <laughs> anyway, we've got exciting news for you. Uh, which restaurant are we giving away seats to tonight? Uh, not just seats, you actually get to sit down and, and eat in the eat restaurant. Oh, yeah, uh, for free. Now for you're I'm a little yeah, nervous. Yeah, <laughs> less nervous. A Craig's restaurant, that's a good one. It's, are you on it? No, it's nothing to do with me. It's actually good. And they do steaks and uh, beef and, uh, you oh, know. Oh, like Oh, stop. <laughs> I mean, just chicken. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I think we all learned something. <laughs> right then. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go off there and uh, start up the commercials. You wait here in case anything happens. Okay. <laughs> Sponsored by new handcrafted griddle melts from IHOP. There's no breakfast sandwich like them. Ladies and gentlemen, Craig Ferguson. Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> Thanks, gullible tourists. Thanks so much. <laughs> I, I, I had them and I lost them. I had them and I lost them. Yeah, they're, uh, yeah, they're, they're good people. I'm very excited to be in their company. As, as am I. <laughs> it's a great day for America, everybody. A great... It's, a, it's Friday, of course. Friday, thank goodness it's Friday. Uh, yes, it's a very special Friday today. <laughs> yeah, thanks a lot. Too late, though. Greg, we can help. No, don't worry, I'll, I'll push through on my own. The rest of the audience doesn't want to help, so I'll just keep going. Greg, we want to cheer. No, no, I'll just carry on. I, I'm being very passive-aggressive. Have yeah, you noticed that? Yeah, yeah. That's what, <laughs> that's what my mother used to do to me. Like, I'd walk into a room and the light would be off, and I'd say, why don't you put the light on? She'd say, I'm fine in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to waste money on electricity for me. Wow, you are working dark tonight. Yeah, a little bit, yeah. Okay. No, I tell you, it's, it's a very special Friday today because it is, uh, it is Single Awareness Day. <laughs> right after Valentine's Day. What a time to have it. It's the, uh, that's what it is. It, it was created by single people so they can have their own version of Valentine's Day. So go ahead, single people. Go ahead and love yourself. Love yourself. <laughs> Now, I am in fact not single, but I still love myself occasionally. <laughs> I'm doing it right now. These are false hands. <laughs> do you know in a new poll, wh wh would you be able to do a late night show if there weren't polls every day? No, we couldn't. Because it's always like a poll, a survey, and oh, 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 here's a, well, there is a new poll though. Oh? Yes. <laughs> Uh, San Francisco has been named the most dramatic city in America. Today, the city of Baltimore said, that's great, we won the Super Bowl. <laughs> uh, <laughs> there's two guys in pink shirts who are sitting in lesbian row who have no idea what I just said. <laughs> They're like... Wow. Is he talking about the Beyonce concert? What is he talking about? <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a great day for America, though. It's also a good day to die hard. That's, yes. Yeah. Well, that was actually quite yeah, good, that, wasn't yeah. it? That was good. He really joined in there. I said, a good day to die hard, and you went, wah, wah. No, the new Die Hard movie opens today. Uh, nowadays, the, you know, Die Hard, that's the... Now, that comes from the term in the medical profession when an old person ODs on boner pills. <laughs> working dark tonight, Jeff. Yeah. Working a little dark. Uh, anyway, uh, look, uh, do you get the poster for the new Die Hard uh, movie? There it is. Uh, yippee ki -yay, Mother Russia. <laughs> That's because it's set in Russia, and Bruce Willis's catchphrase is yippee ki -yay, something I can't say on CBS. And <laughs> you know, I think they came up with a poster before they came up with the script for the movie. The studio executives are sitting around going, yippee ki -yay, mother, mm, I don't know. <laughs> yippee ki -yay. the next Die Hard movie will be whatever was second, yippee ki -yay, mother, Hubbard. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, yippee ki -yay, mother, Hubbard. Yeah. In a world where the cupboard is bare. <laughs> you got a poster? There you are. <laughs> See, the yippee, the yippee ki -yay line in the Die Hard movies, that's the, it's a great catchphrase, but it's problematic when it gets shown on TV. This is true. When Die Hard 2 was on television, they dub over the line, so, you, so Bruce Willis says, I'm not kidding, he says, yippee ki -yay, Mr. Falcon. <laughs> Mr. F Mr. Falcon, I know. It makes sense if Bruce Willis happened to be speaking to a giant bird or something. They should just do what they do here is put a little flag over my mouth so it goes yippee ki -yay, tootsie fruitsie. All right. <laughs> or yippee ki -yay, tootsie fruitsie. Yeah. <laughs> you know. I, I wanted CBS to let me dub the, over the Bruce Will, you know, for the TV version. And instead of yippee ki -yay, I'd go like this. You're in deep doo-doo now, muchacho. 
That's that's way more. I like that. That would be awesome. Yeah. That, like the bad guys would be like, what? <laughs> anyway, I. <laughs> A good day to die hard is set in Russia, and the Russians make great villains because they've got funny accents. You know, like, hey, comrade, you want to vodka? Um, and everybody knows foreign accents are hilarious. <laughs> too little, too late. During the Cold War, though, everyone was frightened of Russians. Now they're our friends. Now they're getting scary again because of Vladimir Putin. His policies are very severe. He cracked down hard on Pussy Riot, and I cannot support that. <laughs> I'm just saying a thing that's true. Yeah, what the hell, man? Jeez. <laughs> I like it when true things line up with my smutty mouth, though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway, in the new Die Hard movie, Bruce Willis joins forces with his son. That's the plot. Yeah, I'm getting a bit of a scrappy do vibe from that, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. He's <laughs> like, oh, I can't go over there and fight those guys. You go over there, son. And I, I love the first Die Hard because Alan Rickman was in it. He's awesome. He's an awesome bad guy. See, the difference between the kids of today and back then, see, I think of Alan Rickman as the villain from Die Hard. Kids today think that he's Snape from Harry Potter. <laughs> Which is also awesome, but it's different. It's like, you be kind of, Mr. Falcon. <laughs> you be kind of. <laughs> what? Can you do, can you do Snape? Can you do yeah, Snape? I can try. Yeah, I'll try, I'll try a little yeah. Snape. Mr. Falcon. <laughs> Yippee ki yay, E.D. Falco. <laughs> Yippee ki yay, yeah. E.D. Falco! Yeah, why not? Yeah. All right, we'll be right back, yeah. everybody. We'll be right back. to the Tonight Show where, what the hell's going on tonight then? Oh, oh Single it's... Awareness Day! Yeah. Oh, this is my favourite holiday of the year. That's the yours? best, man. Yeah, this is, there's a sale on mattresses today. <laughs> <laughs> there's a sale on mattresses yeah, today. Yeah, this is, that's how you know it's a legitimate holiday. When it's an important holiday, there's always a sale on mattresses. Big sale. Right, for example, President's Day, what happens? Mattress sale. Mattress sale, right. Labor Day weekend. Mattresses. Right, right. Single Awareness Day. We got mattresses. Mattresses, right. <laughs> Tonight's show is sponsored by mattresses. Long, thin ones you can sleep in on your own. <laughs> Jeff, you're single, right? Yeah, yeah. Do you have a single bed or do you have a double bed and hope somebody's going to come along and uh, help you fill it up? <laughs> and also the bed. I, I just stand, dude. All right, uh, what time is it, Jeffrey Peterson? It's tweet mail time. Now 50% off all mattresses. Oh, play the jingle. Here come the players. They're so fast. Up all night and feeling lonely. Making lots of macaroni. Drop your fork and get right to it. Crazy the one to see you through it. Oh. Sweets or emails, he don't care. Both, so don't despair. Use your fingers, use your toes, use your boobies. I've got those. Emails and tweets. Emails and tweets. Emails and tweets. And the tweets. All right, this is uh, from uh, Marlene in Spokane in Washington. Is it Spokane or Spokane? I always get it wrong. What Spokane. is it? Spokane. Spokane. Spokane or Spokane? Spokane. Spokane or Spokane? Spokane? Have you ever been either Spokane or Spokane? I've got a place in both. Okay. <laughs> What's your favorite part of Spokane? The middle portion. Okay. <laughs> Dear Craig and Jeff, I'm very disappointed to see yet another discussion of Jungian versus Freudian psychology on Wednesday night's show. Don't you know your viewers want more celebrity gossip? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, uh, Russell Brand was here and we had to talk about uh, Jungian versus Freudian. He's a bit of a Freudian. No, he's a Jungian and I'm a Jungian, but yeah, you're a Freudian, yeah, right, I'm Jeff? I'm a Freudian. Yeah, I'm because, Freudian. because why? You've got a penis-shaped head? Why? Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I actually have no penis. That's, that's why. <laughs> You see? Owing Jeff for not having a penis is like owing a toaster for not having a penis. <laughs> it doesn't make any 
any sense. Oh, look, here's an appliance that doesn't have a penis. Many appliances do not have a penis. Some do. Some appliances do have a penis. But we don't have any of them here. <laughs> This is from David in Summerlin, Nevada. You ever been there? Ooh, Summerlin. Oh, we were in Vegas just last weekend. Yeah, it was great. Oh, wasn't that a time? Jeff and I had a time. We played golf, didn't we? Did a little golfing. Yeah, what else did we do? Uh, we uh, we uh, danced. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, boy, you can cut a rug, I'll tell you. Uh, hi, uh, Craig and Jeff and Secretariat. What's up? What's up? What's up? <laughs> This is from Scott in uh, Mesa, Arizona. He says, uh, Dear Craig, my sister's been driving me up the wall complaining about her boyfriend who I don't like anyway. Should I tell her to dump him? He says, I can't even get to the end of this. I don't care. <laughs> I think the audience were invested in what was going on. Yeah, yeah. I think people were like, oh, should she dump him? I don't know. I mean, I don't, I don't know if he, he shouldn't get involved. No, he should. It's his sister. I don't know. This is from Nala in Williamsburg in uh, Kentucky. Uh, have you ever seen this, Nala? There? Oh, yeah. What kind of bird is that? That's a cockatoo. Cockatoo. <laughs> <laughs> Dear Craig, Jeff, and Secretariat, could you explain what ass mode is? Tell him, Jeff. Ass mode is a way of... Wave life. <laughs> I've got one left, but I don't like it. No, you don't have to do it. It's your show, man. That's what I think. <laughs> so the time that we have that I would have, you know, spent reading it, we could have a quiet moment. Yeah, right? let's relax. Let's it. relax. A little quiet moment. My first guest tonight, very talented and funny actress. Her new film, Escape from Planet Earth, is in theaters now. Take a look at this. This is Area 51, man. Wake up! <laughs> the lovely Jane Lynch, everybody. Jane Sensational. I like this blue. It's striking. Oh, it's like you're you. color blocking, I, and, and I like that. <laughs> thank you so much. I know about color blocking. What, I, I don't know what that is. Who that well, is? it's the kind of thing that you wear one color and you wear another color, and then they gave it a name, and then you can charge you more money. Oh, okay. All right. This film looks sensational. It's funny, and it's cute, and it's sweet, and adults will like it, and kids like it. And... Okay, good. So how are you? Anyway, I'm terrific. Really? Yeah. I, We're... Hmm. No. I, I was going to say, you know what I realized is the money I'm going to make doing this gets to pay for this blouse because I bought this today. So, and thank you for saying Really? Yeah. You, no, the money what you, that, the, I just that you made doing the, the thing. You know, I don't, I signed the thing up there and I saw I'm making, I'm making some money doing this. Oh, you mean, you mean on this show? For this, for this show. Yeah. What that, but wait, you get what, like 400 bucks for doing this show? <laughs> for two, 200? Really? <laughs> <laughs> that's it. That's about what this that, But that's a $200 blush yes, right sure there. Is, I, you yeah. know what? Look, looks every darn cent of oh, it, too. It's, thank uh, you, Greg. Are you a fashion plate? Are you careful no, about that? No, not really. No. I, and you know what? I haven't figured out. I know a lot of stars in Hollywood get clothes. They give them the clothes. And yeah, I've heard they about that. They don't give me anything. No, I don't So I have that. to go to the store and buy stuff. And you can't wear the same thing twice. At least they say you can't. But if you see me wearing this again, forgive me. It was 200 bucks. 200 bucks is a lot of money. I yeah. mean, you should be able to wear it whenever you want. Yeah. What do you mean? You
you can't wear anything twice. I wear the same damn suit every night. I was wearing this exact suit last <laughs> night. You just change, you change your tie. I change my tie and that's yeah. it. I know. Well, it's easier for guys, but you know, I don't think about it that much. But if you, it, you're supposed to wear like those kids on Glee. Those are the young oh, kids yeah, on Glee. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. People are throwing clothes at them, and they look different and beautiful at every event. And I'm like, you know, you, you know, on the stuff. on the Glee show, you're surrounded by these optimistic, upbeat, talented know, young people. Awful. It must be terrible. I mean, it just yeah. it's just hell. with their optimism and their yeah. <laughs> can-do yeah, attitude. Exactly. Yeah. It, was, it needs to be squashed. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta nip that in the yeah, bud and yeah. let them know that life is hard it's and tough bitter. Thing. Yeah. If it is, yeah, absolutely. You know, nobody helped me uh, when I was that age. Nobody helped me really? get up the ladder. No, no, no. Let's do therapy then. Let's okay, do therapy. Let's do all right, right, all right. Okay, you know, so. I was all on my own. My parents were like, uh, you know, you need to learn to type. You, you, you need to learn to type. You, need to learn you to were type. raised by typists. I was raised by typists. Oh, they said you have to have some kind of a marketable skill so that you, because uh, you're, you're of course not going to be an actor. You're not going to be paid for that. Mm. So you know, I was on my own. I had to, I had to go on pure gumption, Craig Ferguson. Gumption is yeah. what you, I, I, you know. That said, because I am the opposite story. My parents are like, why not talk show host? <laughs> America. And in another country. <laughs> right. On the way, though, yeah. how about a 15 years of blackout drinking? That'll yeah, really yeah, set yeah. you up right. I did that, too. Yeah. I did that, too. Were you a drinker? I was. I'm, I'm sober 21 years. I'm sober 20 years. Yeah. See that? Yeah. See that? Yeah. See that? Irish, Scottish drinkers. Yeah, yeah. You know yeah. that whole thing. Yeah, I've met people called Lynch that drank. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that. <laughs> yeah. What did you drink when you were drinking? Um, Miller Lite. It was oh. so sad. Really? Yeah. I, I didn't drink anything exotic. I don't, I, I, I don't, I never had, I never was into wine. I just liked Miller Lite and I was it's, drunk you know, on Miller you, Lite. If you know what you like, I knew you know what, my what drink you like. Was, yeah. yeah. What about drugs? You ever do that? Uh, no, I was scared to death of drugs. In fact, I wasn't invited to the pot parties in high school. People called me narc because, and to this day, if I smell pot, I'm like, <gasps> the police are coming. Oh my God. We're all gonna get arrested. See, I never really got into pot that much. I went straight to cocaine. Cocaine, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Skipped right over yes, it. Yes, I thought it was kind of a vitamin that helped you yeah. drink more. Right, exactly, yeah. <laughs> but you were a big drinker, right? I mean, you, yeah, I was, I was yeah. a big drinker. But, I, but to be honest, I drank mostly beer as well. Yeah. Yeah, because you know, whiskey made me fighting drunk. You ever get fighting drunk? Yes, indeed. Oh, oh I, I, what do you call it? tequila? Did that for me. I oh, lost yeah. weekends over tequila. You know what they, they say? Tequila is the fast track to rehab. That's if you, <laughs> it's the carpool lane. Yeah, that's yeah. what they say. About, uh, that's what they say about cocaine too. You just cocaine, get there faster. Yeah. 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 But 21 years, that's yeah, sensational. Years. Yeah, you too. Yeah, girl. Yeah. I can't believe we don't know each other. I we know, should probably weird. be bestie friends. I know, we came to town at the same time. Dude, when did you come here? Uh, 1992. I came in 95. Oh, okay. Yeah, we so you were already established. And you're, I think you're a couple of years younger than me, but you should be No, older. I'm clearly older I than you. I feel like yeah. you should be older than me. I was like, <laughs> I'm younger than Craig Ferguson. Yeah, well. Or older. I'm older than Craig Ferguson. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, here's the thing. I, um, I don't. Uh, color. Okay. You, uh, neither, neither do you, no, obviously, no, no, I but do. I, uh, I do, actually. I do, yes. George Lopez was here last night. You know, he dyes his hair. He does? Oh, he gets to get the gray out? Apparently. Did he, well, yeah. did he admit it on TV? No, he was proud of it. Oh, okay. I'm gonna start dying, man. Would you? I no, was no, 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 no. Frosted no, it tips. Frosted I love, tips. What I do you love think? how your hair looks. No, you've got natural frosted tips. Well, I don't like, know. I think it makes me a little a bit grandpa-ish. No, I saw some no, old no. photographs of my dad the other day. I'm like, it's that's me. Oh, I know. I do yeah. that with my mom too. Really? Yeah, I know. Isn't it scary? And uh, I mean, I, we love our parents, obviously, but or maybe sure. we don't. I don't know your story, but I love my mom, and I look in the mirror. You kind of know mom. my story. Yeah, oh, I yeah, do. yeah. I, yeah. I've heard your stories in the rooms, as they say. Yeah, you yeah. steady. Oh, careful steady. now. Whoa. Steady. Oops. Hey, Jeff's eyes match your blouse. Yeah, we uh, we yeah, we coordinated before the show. Yeah. <laughs> That's oh, love. Jeff. Hey, we've got. Now listen, mm -hmm. you, uh, you're an out gay woman, right? I, uh, well, well, you are yes, now. I am yeah, now. yeah, I saw. Uh, listen, here's the thing. <laughs> you are right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. right. Because we can always cut that you out. Are, right? um, because we've got a couple of gentlemen sitting in lesbian row, and it makes me a little cross. That looks like Nelly Boy Road. Yeah, well. <laughs> Now, I want to tell you the origin of Lesbian Row. This is the, the because my predecessor uh, had a show here. There was a, uh, Craig Kilborn, and he used to have a row called Chick Row. Uh -huh. And I thought, I don't like the sound of that at all. Yeah. It, it sounds a little heterosexual. <laughs> so. And we know.
know you're a a anything but. Well, no, I am heterosexual, but I don't, but I don't, but I don't wear it like a badge, yeah, you know. You know, you're not marching in the parades. Right, right. You know I'm just, I, I happen to be heterosexual, but I don't march up and down saying <laughs> I'm a heterosexual. I'm glad you don't throw it in our face. Right, I really I, appreciate right, it. Right, yes. exactly. So I thought, no, let's have a role for uh, for lesbians, and then everybody wants to be in it. Guy, gay, straight, man, women is crazy. Well, you know, it's really hip to be a lesbian now. Apparently, yeah. yeah. I'm invited to so many parties, and it's like this is my lesbian friend Jane Lynch. Yeah. And also, I love when straight couples say, you know, if we added a third to our bedroom, it would be you. <laughs> and, and I'm supposed to be flattered by that. <laughs> and, and then well, we're talking about heterosexual couples. Yeah, yeah. But then you can say, but wait, somebody's got a penis. I have no interest in this. <laughs> yeah. uh, I am not immune to the male charm or the oh, male really? anatomy. No, oh, really? I am, I'm, oh, I find that. It's, uh, sexuality doesn't have to be black and white. Sometimes it's it's gr uh, gray and it swims. And you are my best friend <laughs> of all time. <laughs> we'll take a commercial break. We'll be right back. With Jane Lynch, everybody. Or not, but no, I don't. No. Oh, hey. We were just talking about stuff. Yeah. Hey, ever been to Scotland? I have not. You should go. You'd love I it. I should. Yeah. I've been to Ireland, but you know, there's a bloody sea between Scotland and no, Ireland. No, no, no. They're actually very similar. Of oh, well, that's interesting because most Scots and most Irish people say, oh, they're completely different no, civilizations. Oh, they always say that. It's kind of like same. Springfield and Shelbyville. It's kind of... <laughs> I mean, it kind of. I mean, there's differences, of course. Where are you from in Scotland? Glasgow, which is oh. a kind of the Irish town in Scotland. Is it really? Yeah. A little bit. Don't I look forward to your angriness. <laughs> there's a, a, a theater festival in Edinburgh. Oh, I yeah, 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 That's of course. Big, yeah. And um, I, I haven't been there, but I hear it's Oh, no, wonderful. it's you. you. You still do live theater? Um, yeah, I do. I do. I do. I do. I do. I love it. I love doing sketch stuff. I uh, I did a thing um, uh, in New York, Nor Nora Ephron's last play called Love, Lost, and What I Wore. It was a reading. I sat on my butt. But it was really well. Fun. No, that's still yeah. performing, yeah. though, isn't it? You're still investing yourself in the exactly. live situation. I couldn't do that anymore. Eight shows a week. You're exhaustive. I was just talking to Mr. Mario Lopez, who did uh, the chorus line. I ran into him in the studio yeah. here, and um, he was talking about how hard that was. Eight shows a week, and he's yeah, a I did it in the Rocky it Horror Show in London. Oh, that's right. Yeah, of course yeah, you yeah. Did. Eight shows a week in uh, Four Inch Heels. <laughs> I had a boy. It would have been more, but I, they wouldn't let me. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I, I did eight shows. A, it's a lot. It's yeah. a lot. Yeah, yeah. Too much. I yeah, didn't get into show business to work. Yeah, I know. Yeah. And after doing television and film now, which is, you know, basically sitting there, and, and they say, you know, come out in an hour, and then you work for like 30 seconds, and say, we have to relight, and you go back, yeah, and you read yeah, your yeah, book. Yeah, yeah. And then, you know, when you're really, when you're trodden the boards, as they say, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's hard work, Different but it's thing. fun. It's, it's really rewarding, but it is. It's a lot of work. Yeah. It's not like a proper job, though. No. I mean, it's no. not like actual work. No, it's not. You know, it's, it's not like, you know, getting up in the dark and going and working in a dangerous, scary place. It's two hours a night. It's two it, hours a night, it's and, it's tough, and they bring you lattes in the intermission. That's so true. it's... That's true, and you get to order lunch when you get there if you want. You yeah, can. it's actually, it's, it's easy. We should it's go do it now. Let's do it. All right. Let's do a show. Um, you know what? We actually are out of time. You want to throw frisbees at the horse or to. do an awkward pause? Or yeah, I'd love, to, I'd love to throw a frisbee at a horse. Oh, there's one right there. All right, then. Jay Lynch, everybody. Where we are. Where we are, There you are, there's three. I got three. Not bad. Lower, lower. Bring yourself down a little. Come on. There you go. Oh, very bad. Oh, Terrifically talented co-host of Extra. Take a look at this. I gotta be honest with you. I gotta be honest with you. We've done a lot, but I think this might be the gayest show we've ever done. Mario Lopez.
I mean, I'm, it's I'm, not streaking if you're wearing underpants. First of all, of all the clips, man, I've done so much since I've seen you last. <laughs> you're gonna throw that one up with my little it purple undies? Didn't look that little to me, if you don't mind me saying so. They, well, I mean, I know it was you, a cold you. day, <laughs> but they, still. It was a cold day, and it was tight, so, you know, I got to show off those. You're in underwear. shape, man. Well, like, uh, there's not thanks. a teaspoon of body fat no, on no, you at no. all. Hey, listen, I really wanted the 49ers to win that game, mm -hmm. and I was so confident, mm -hmm. right? I was so confident. That and then we, we were favored in the whole deal, but then so I said, Yeah, I'll streak because I was so confident they weren't gonna. It's lose. no streaking though if you've got underpants on, you do know that, right? Well, it's yeah, but then I was warned and I was down to go all nature boy, but the problem was I was warned that I could seriously be arrested and I thought that would be embarrassing on my show, get arrested in the whole deal. But that's about as close as you can get. Come on, well, no, I think that getting and I didn't wear like a jock strap underneath, though, so I thought stuff was gonna start like you know, maybe out. coming out, yeah, and that was like borderline dangerous right there. Then we would have had a whole nother show, yeah. <laughs> I think, I don't know, I think getting arrested for streaking on X would be pretty funny, actually, yeah. That's very 1970s. Yeah, it? it's yeah. kind of like, bad boy Lopez does it again. Well. You'd be all like, no, don't take my photograph, and I'd oh be like, God. oh, and your junk would be everywhere. It'd be awesome. Yeah. <laughs> It was still everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> How are you otherwise? I'm uh, doing things great. Good? Yeah. Yeah. It was a great busy with Extra there and with the X Factor we finished up. Altwood oh, yeah. shoots on this lot right here, the radio show. So thank God everything's going. You know, well, I got a two year old just like you. I'm oh, married you with do. a little girl. Yeah, so you're yeah. getting no sleep at all. That's why you're at the house all the time, right? Oh, man. Yeah, well, well it's, I'm working on another one. So, you know. You are. Congratulations. On, hopefully, we'll have some good news soon. We'll see. That's but, great. You know, good for you. Yeah, man. so, That's so it's fantastic. great. So, uh, are you getting any sleep or what's going on with you? Yeah, well, no, I am. Yeah. He's kind of sleeping through the night now. Yeah. He's pretty good. He just, every time I, you know, he talks to me now, he just goes, Daddy's going to work. I'm like, no, I'm not going to work. He's like, yeah, go. Yeah, well, he's talking to you. That's oh, yeah. struggling because he's learning two languages at the same time. We had like a, a little standoff the other day because I'm trying to teach her to be uh, polite. The worst thing, I hate bratty kids. I don't yeah, want to be bratty yeah, kids yeah. in the house. So she has to, everything's got to be with a please or a thank you. Right. And I, I, I took her little uh, uh, iPhone away. And yeah, she has an iPhone. She's only two with the little games and stuff. But I said, uh, uh, well, because it's got those little learning apps and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, sure. And so I said... <laughs> You're not getting it back till you say please. Right. Right? And so you please. So she wouldn't say it. She wouldn't say it for like two hours. She wouldn't say it. And I'm like, this little, you know, she wouldn't say it. So if I say either say please or por favor. So after like two hours, she's like, por favor, dad. Well, that's fair enough. Yeah, and I gave it back to her and it was all good. So Do you do timeouts? I do timeouts. Do, is that, yeah, my some wife people likes say to no. do timeouts. Yeah. And then, you know, she, but she's like, she puts herself in timeouts. She's yeah, like, that's, what, that's what mine does yeah. too. He's like, timeout? I'm like, what for? He went, I just feel like one. And he goes over. Right. She yeah. a little you know, she's got a lot of fire. She's Mexican and Italian. So, you, you know, she's a lot of passion in that little me, kid yeah. right there. So That's a very... That's a Big lethal bro. combination. <laughs> yeah. A lethal combination. Like, you know, so when she's a teenager... Oh, oh forget about it. God. I don't even want to think about it. Yeah, that's... I don't even want to think Mexican and Italian. Exactly. Mexican and Italian. Well, I'm 100% Mexican. The, 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 uh, my wife's 100% Italian. And, yeah. You, know, you guys, you guys, you guys fight a lot and eat a lot, right? We definitely, uh, well, you know, we don't fight a lot, fortunately, but when we do, they're passionate. Yeah, I'll bet they are. <laughs> they're yeah. passionate, but we do eat a lot. We you enjoy our to, eating and drinking. You ever been to Italy? We haven't. We were supposed to go for uh, a vacation, then she ended up getting knocked up, so I threw a monkey wrench there. <laughs> And now I'm we're glad you weren't here on Valentine's Day right. talking like that. <laughs> but now we're working on it again, and she'll, she might get knocked up again after we plan, so maybe that's the move. You know? well, what are you saying? You know, we might, uh, you're being quite, I mean, what you're saying is I'm well, no, having a lot trying. of sex. We're, with saying, we're right. trying, so, you know, right. hopefully, God willing, um, you're get some good news. You're very open about that kind of thing. I admire yeah. that you. You're As very kind of to... like, uh, well, I'm very cranky and secretive about really? my life. Yes. No, I want to have, I want to have, if it's up to me, I want to have a bunch of kids, you know. No, I've no, no, I, that, that. Yeah, yeah. So we talk about the sex thing. Yeah, well, you're just like, you're quite open and, and yeah. you know, you talk about your life and, you know, yeah. here's my wife having a baby and yeah, stuff. Yeah, she's but, right. Well, as opposed, if people don't like, talk I'm, like, yeah, some, you're right, because I interview people that don't like to talk about the, and I'm like, what's so, what's so secretive about well, you? Well, I, I, th I think there's something to do with uh, privacy and just keeping... Well, I'm not you know. telling you how we're breaking it down. How are you breaking anything? it down? How are you breaking it down? That, or how she likes this and that. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying Come we're on, you should to. tell us, you know, <laughs> because <laughs> it's Single Awareness Day and a lot of the singles... I want to know how do you make how do you light up the Italian ladies, Mario? Oh, how does it work? It's a lot of work. Yeah, <laughs> it's a lot of work. But, uh, actually, uh, in my experience, not that much work as oh, I remember. Yeah. Oh, okay. Hey, it's not work if you're doing what you love, okay. right? Fair enough. Touche. Yeah. I like that.
Nice cup, by the way. You like the cup? Yeah, it's I a like Freudian it. thing because I've got trouble. It's a very it. Mexican cup of you. Yeah, I guess it's a little you know? bit. It's actually from Albuquerque. <laughs> oh, well, there you go. Yeah. Albuquerque, New Mexico. <laughs> Some, very, some right people there. who are excited about Albuquerque. I so. Hey, do you watch so. Breaking Bad? Do I, I don't watch Breaking oh, Bad. That's show. That's I, set in Albuquerque. Oh, is that set in yeah, Albuquerque? Yeah, They do yeah. a lot of shooting. You know how when you're working a lot yeah, and then with yeah, the kids. Yeah. And so all I watch right now is like uh, Sprout and Nickelodeon and the you wife watch, watches all those Real Housewives you know, shows. You watch the, uh, the Yo Gabba Gabba show? Oh, yeah. Oh, I saw right. that dude, the, uh, the guy with the... Voodoo? No, with the, with the thing, with the... What's DJ name? Lance Rock? DJ Lance Rock. Oh, my God, I'd love to be him. Yes. I saw him right here at the Grove where we shoot. Like, without day. his orange clothes without on? Without his thing, but he still talks in that sort of way. Like, like hello, yeah. friends. Yeah, he's so Yeah, like hey, let's sing and dance with music. It's awesome. Yeah, <laughs> just like that. Yeah. So it was a little trippy. Yeah, no, that's <laughs> great. I love that show, Wax. Yeah, so it's fun. So that's what my life consists of, pretty much uh, Nick Jr. and Sprout in the morning, and then some form of a real housewife at night. That, and you know, So I try to squeeze in a sports center here and there, and a little Craig Ferguson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Listen, we're out of time. You want to uh, throw frisbees at the horse or uh, have an awkward pause or tell us how you do I, things with your wife? I would love to throw the frisbee at the horse. <laughs> oh, no, she's going to appreciate this later on. <laughs> Zucker, I don't, I don't mean that in any way, shape, or form disrespectfully. Now, you know that. Was that inappropriate? I didn't think that was inappropriate. Yeah. A little bit? Dang. I'm no, sorry. You I were feel comfortable with you. You were appropriate. It was fine. You didn't say a thing at Okay, all. good, 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 good. <laughs> Secretary. Well, all that's right. Mario distance. Lopez, everybody. We're right. Yeah, the audience really went on a ride there with that. It's like, oh no, the cat's been away. Oh, it has a parachute and it's come back. <laughs> Show's long tonight. We have to be very quick. Quick. Quickly. Quickly. There's no time. There's no time. <laughs> Let's just get this done. I think we should uh, take a time out. <laughs> I'm taking a time out. Good night, everybody. Good night.